Hi friends, in this video I am going to show you how you can dual boot Windows and Ubuntu on two separate hard disks. I have already installed Ubuntu on my old hard disk. Uh, this is a hard disk which is having Ubuntu installation and I have taken new hard disk. In this hard disk I am going to install Windows and I will show you the dual boot method. So before proceeding we need to make sure that we need to unplug the SATA cable from the hard disk which is having Ubuntu installation and after that you need to connect the SATA cable and the power supply cable to the new hard disk and after that uh, restart the PC and install the Windows 10 operating system on the new hard disk. Once the installation is done you need to turn off the PC. Now you need to open the CPU cabinet and you need to plug in the SATA cable to the hard disk which is having Ubuntu installation. Now you can see that I have connected the SATA cable to the hard disk which is having Ubuntu installation and after that turn on the PC. Now the PC will directly boot into the Windows 10 here you can see that because I have said my hard disk which is having Windows 10 as my primary hard disk so it is directly booting into Windows 10. So we need to set the hard disk having Ubuntu installation as a primary boot disk. Uh, I am going to restart the PC. Once you have restarted the PC go to the BIOS you can press either F10 or F12 or delete. Once you have entered into the BIOS, go to advanced BIOS features, click on that. Here you can see the first option hard disk boot priority. You need to hit enter to select the boot priority. Here you can see that my Windows 10 hard disk is having first priority. So it is directly booting into the Windows 10. You need to set hard disk which is having Ubuntu installation as a first boot priority. You need to press uh, plus button on your keyboard to set it as a first priority. My Western Digital is having Ubuntu installation so I am going to click on plus to change it to first boot priority. After setting the Ubuntu hard disk as a first boot priority you need to save the changes. You need to press F10 button and hit enter. Now it will reboot. Now it will directly boot into the Ubuntu operating system. Here you can see that uh, log into your Ubuntu operating system and after that you need to make some changes. You have to open the terminal. In the terminal you have to type this following command sudo os dash prober hit enter it will ask you to enter the password enter the password hit enter and you will get this uh, result windows boot manager colon windows efi if you get this message you can see the windows 10 hard drives from the ubuntu operating system which is quite handy and after that you need to make some changes to the graph file click on files and click on other locations and select uh, computer it is having the Ubuntu installation and after that you need to click on the etc folder and after that you need to click on the default folder in the default folder you can see the grub file grub uh, let's open the grub file but you need to have the permissions to make the changes to the grub file I don't have the permissions to change the code here you can see that there is no option to save I am going to close this grub file I don't have the permissions to make the changes to the graph file so I will open the terminal and I will open the Nautilus file browser. In the terminal you need to type sudo nautilus n-a-u-t-i-l-u-s hit enter enter the password now you will have the administrative privileges to make changes to the files click on other locations and click on computer and click on etc and click on default now let's open the graph file right click and click on open with text editor here is the graph file in the graph file we need to add the hashtag to the line grub underscore timeout underscore style is equal to hidden we need to add the hashtag so that the grub menu will come up uh, during the boot uh, grub menu enables us uh, to choose the operating system of our choice after adding the hashtag you need to set the time for the grub menu to choose the operating system uh, by default it is set to 0 so it will automatically boot into Ubuntu so we need to add the time 10 seconds 20 seconds 30 seconds it depends upon your choice I am going to set it as 10 seconds so I will be having 10 seconds time to choose the operating system whether Linux or Ubuntu and after that you need to simply save this file once you have saved this file you need to open the terminal again and you need to type this code sudo update dash grub hit enter 
by doing this it will update the gram menu now simply restart your ubuntu operating system when you restart the ubuntu operating system now grub menu will be shown by default uh, top option is ubuntu if you press select ubuntu it will directly boot into ubuntu if you want to boot into windows 10 you need to use the arrow keys on your keyboard and choose windows boot manager and hit enter it will boot into the windows 10 operating system after booting into the windows 10 operating system you have to make one more change what you have to do is open the control panel on your windows 10 go to hardware and sound under power options there will be option called change what the power buttons do click on that option and you have to uncheck this option turn on fast startup by default this option is checked you need to click on change settings that are currently available and you need to simply uncheck this option and click on save changes that's it guys now we can dual boot into windows 10 or ubuntu depending upon your choice Hope you like this video. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.